Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brownie and I'm one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today I'm here to unbox the December Fairy Loot, which seems mad to me because I swear I only did this two weeks ago, but I think it's because I was quite late in uploading it. But yeah, here we are. So the theme this month is Thick as Thieves. This is the spoiler card, so I'm not going to look at it because spoilers, but yeah, I will be referring to it. So I don't think they've done like the packaging, which is not a problem because last month it was kind of a bit weird but the first item is a hat which is a very funky hat and um, it has kind of black and white details and then it's got dragons at the bottom and it says the first item in this box is a beautiful beanie inspired by the hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien which will keep you warm throughout the winter Bilbo and his crew of dwarves are definitely thick as thieves. The beanie features artwork by Jez Hawk and has many elements that link to the story. Now I haven't read the book but it is one that I would definitely like to read. And there I am wearing the hat. It has like a bubble. It's quite cute. I not kind of like my normal colourful style but I go up to the yard and it's cold and I could do with a hat. I do have quite a big head so it is a little bit snug but it's not a problem. So the next one I've got out is a notebook. Now as you can see on the notebook there is a person and there are some like symbols at the top and like ones at the bottom. Don't forget any of your tasks with this handy notepad featuring artwork by Unicify Art which is inspired by Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. Now I haven't read the book and I don't necessarily want to rush to read it but it is very pretty so I may keep it. I really like the artwork. I'll try and put a picture up here of the like details but so so pretty. I love the kind of style. It, I assume it's kind of African fantasy and it's really really pretty. I very much like that. So the next one I'm gonna get, should I get, I'm gonna get the tarot cards out and they are these two. So I think these are inspired by House of Earth and Blood. This month's featured tarot cards are the King and Queen of Swords. They are designed by the very talented Ars28 and are inspired by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas. Now I haven't read, I will probably read in the future. However, I, ha I have said to someone that they can have these because they're of no interest to me at the moment, but they're very pretty. Looks like another winged beast and a redhead. I quite like a redheaded character, even if I don't know who they are. So the next item, is it meant to rattle? Um, but, oh, it's a secret book. It's got that on the front. And it said, we're including the fourth and last secret book designed by Nova and Hale in this box. It's perfect for storing. Okay, the box is coming apart. It's perfect for storing all your trinkets and treasures and it's inspired by a bunch of different fandoms with great friendships. Can you spot any of your favourites inside? I don't know if it's meant to... Anyway, that's what it looks like on the outside. It looks like that without that on the back. It has volume four and then it literally looks like a book. Is it meant to rattle? Oh, oh okay, it's not meant to rattle. It's the silica thing has fallen out. Um, let me get rid of those first. Okay, so the book opens up and it looks like that. It's got lots of little drawings on the inside, so I will show it to you what it looks like up here. But it has a quote and like little images from lots of different books. There are six. So there's The Gilded Wolves by Roshana Chotsky. There's The Hobbit again by J.R.R. Tolkien. There's Days of Blood and Starlight by Laani Taylor. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, A Dark Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. Now, I haven't read any of those, but it's very, very pretty. I like kind of the aesthetic of it. I don't think it will currently fit on my shelf, but I would definitely like to find somewhere for that to go, because that's so, so pretty. Now, the next one I have is the calendar. What does it say about the calendar? To keep track of all your plans in 2021, we have included a gorgeous calendar featuring artwork by Dominique. Wesson. The artwork is inspired by Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, A Dark Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab, The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Trotsky, Scythe by Neil Shusterman, Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan, and Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. Um, again, I have someone who might be interested in this because um, I have read none of those. Actually, I'm just going to bring closer. But um, Percy, which is very cool. Then Annabeth. 
um, and then I won't be able to guess anymore but I will just show them to you because they're cool I'm interested in September because that's my birthday so I may she looks very snazzy right September oh my god she got red hair like me I feel like that might fr be from a darker shade of magic but I don't know Oh, and that's the end. That's very pretty. But yeah, I don't know who that is. And then is this the art print? Our favourite friendship group is the crew from the Raven Cycle by Maggie Sivata. The magical art print is illustrated by Saint Dre. Now, that's a very cool artwork. So as you can see, yeah, by the Raven or featuring the Raven boys. Are they all the boys? Is one of them the girl? I don't know but that's very cool it kind of has like little illustrations that go with the character i have only read the first one i am vaguely interested in trying again but that's a very nice illustration and then never worry about opening your letters again now that you have a damari sword letter opener inspired by throne of glass by sarah j mars and brought to you by fairy dude it even has all the weird marks wired marks how awesome is that it is very awesome fairy dude. <gasps> that's so fantastic um can you see? I don't know what it means, but like, that is so cool. Could have done with it to open it, but like, oh, that's so shiny. I really, really like that. Wow, that's very cool. And the final item is the book. Now, the last couple of months, I have guessed it, but I haven't guessed it. And I've just seen the sprayed edges and it's wonderful. Um, I haven't managed to guess it this time, but I'm very excited to find out. So, yeah. Oh, so we've got the artwork. So that's the bookmark. Then we have some artwork, which doesn't mean anything to me. And it has the spoiler card for next month. Ooh. Ooh, that's so shiny. So um, the whole thing is kind of silver. And it's called Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. And it says, six fey relics, one daring thief, the score of a lifetime. That's like proper chunky as well. So the spine is red and then it's got red sparkly sprayed edges to go with it. On the back it says, welcome to the Queen City, a terrible place to live, an excellent place to die. And it's got some kind of symbols. That's so, so pretty. I want to kind of open it up. So um, oh. <laughs> under the dust jacket. I was just looking for the artwork, but I'm just not looking there. Under the dust jacket, it has some more artwork, which obviously at the moment doesn't mean anything to me. It looks like a giant lizard and two very moody teens. Are they maybe going to try and hold hands? Who knows? But what I gasped at was this. This kind of, is it foiler? It's like leaves. And then it's got the title in shiny writing. Oh. This might be the prettiest book. I don't care what the book's about. This is just, wow. And then it's got like gorgeous um, end pages and it's signed and I might cry because it's so pretty. And then also like, oh, it's got a map. It's got a map and it's also got like little illustrations to go up the title. Oh, that's so nice. And it's not one I've heard of. That is so excited. Right, we'll get to this. Um, it's also got kind of some um, foil things. I really like the hat. The hat's growing on me, actually. So the book says, Life in the Queen City isn't easy, especially for a two-bit thief like Rex. When his latest scores go sideways, he's nabbed by royal sorcerer Morian the Last, who forces him to steal the six pieces of an immeasurably powerful ancient fey relic. Rax is still determined to somehow get away unscathed, until he discovers that the relics Morian is after are actually people. I don't have six fingers. A distractingly handsome fey prince who has been asleep for centuries, a queen's guard deserter with more honour than common sense, the daughter of a disgraced noble family who hits first and asks questions later, a deceptively sweet-natured prince, a member of the underground resistance, neither trusting nor trustworthy, and him, Rags. 
There's no way they can let Morian enact his dark plan, but six misfits against an exceptionally wicked enemy doesn't make for generous odds. Luckily, Rags is not generous. He's smart. And he has a plan that might work. That sounds very good. So excited. I might just stare at this for a while. Please excuse me. Right, I'm gonna see what the spoiler card says. Oh, and it, oh. right, let's see who this is. Is this a prince? Is this a princess? I don't know who this is, but um, they're blonde and shiny. It says, our featured book of the month is Master of One by Jada Jones and Danielle Bennett. It's filled with fey, sinister sorcery and gallows humour. This ragtag crew of reluctant heroes has to take on a world end in fey prophecy and a malicious royal plot. This fairy loot exclusive edition is signed by both authors, has a foil design on the hardcover, shimmery sprayed edges and artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by Bloody Damn It. It also comes with author letter featuring artwork by Bloody Damn It. So good. <sighs> Um, I'm so glad I decided to stick with this because I did briefly consider skipping it just because I didn't know what it was about but now I've seen it I'm so happy it's such a good book it's such a good box it's wonderful I have so many exciting things in here I have so many things that I will use and oh, it's just such a nice box and I love the book and I won't read it in January because my plans are full and they were also full in December but I'm very much looking forward to it and now I must find room for it on my shelf. If you enjoyed this video please consider letting me know with a comment down below, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in another video. Bye!